The Takeover on Power 92. Hey, look, so you was at the WGCI Crime Bike Show yesterday. How was that? Oh, it was incredible. I got so much love. I was just saying that in my head, I can't get enough of how much love I got from Chicago. My first time here, got on stage, crowd participation, all that. So I love it. All right, all right. So when at what point did you say, you know, it's not a hobby no more? I can really eat off this. I can be recognized as one of the greatest in this game. Oh, man, I was in, like, high school. Once you start really putting your voice to tape, you know what I'm saying? It's always been what I do in my blood, writing rap since I was five years old. But once you get to high school and really start recording, like this mic we're using now, it was where we had little karaoke mics and all that. Once you start <laughs> doing that, putting it to tape, really hearing how you sound, knowing, okay, I need to change this, then you like, I'm becoming a professional artist, you know what I mean? So it was high school. We were selling mixtapes and CDs and albums. People was buying them three dollars a pop. We was on it, so yeah. oh, he was on it. Three dollars mm -hmm. a pop. <laughs> we could have made so much money in high school. We were spending on chips and drinks. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so professional artist. So what can you offer this game right now today? Man, that an underdog spirit. You know what I'm saying? Something refreshing. If I got to hear the word or the phrase, breath of fresh air, one more time about me. I just love it, though, because they always like you sound different than what's out. Even Mama Proud, my single's a different pace than what's out. Me shooting my video in the hood don't look like all the videos that's out. You know, I just want to be different, but in a subtle way. I'm not out here with crazy clothes on, look at me, look at me. I'm just going to be different, you know. If they listen to the music, they hear it. It's totally different, you know what I'm saying? You saying... You want longevity in this thing. Absolutely. You you ain't with the you ain't the laffy taffy kinda. Absolutely. I, I I can't settle for less, you know what I mean? When it's really about the words and you start off slow and pace yourself and your records aren't bigger than you are, then you'll have longevity. But all I grew up watching was them greats that have longevity. So it ain't really like something I'm trying to do. This is all I know. I don't know how to be like on these fly by night dudes or whatever. Mm. Okay, you know what so with the fly by night, so Nas, he's dropping his twelfth album. Yeah. Twelfth. Album. So that's longevity at its at its greatest, yeah, right? Yeah. So, I want to Kanye say anybody can look up and get a hit record, but to consistently really? put out hit after hit, there's no luck involved, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you feeling that? Absolutely. I think that's the truth. I mean, you can. I won't even say it's lucking up getting a hit record. I mean, you put the record together, you went in the studio. Even the most unlyrical dudes went in there and took the time to go <laughs> in there. So I'm not knocking nobody. But if it's jamming the people like it, that's a hit. But when you continue to do it, I mean, I think consistency is the key, period, on anything. I think that's that's a damn true statement. Consistency winning games mean you ain't a fluke. Consistency putting out records mean you ain't a fluke. Consistently beating people at pool mean you know how to play. Just period in life. If you keep doing it, they got to respect you. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So, so, you know, in this game, you got to be a beast. That's the only way. That's the yeah. only way they respect you, right? Yeah. That's a, who said that? That's a, Nikki said that. You're right. Yeah, okay, Nikki. so what's what's the beast in Tito Lopez? Man, the dog, the raw, the hunger. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love, even when I rap, the fact that even when I'm bragging, it comes from a space of I still ain't got what I think I deserve. You know what I'm saying? Or I still don't feel like the favorite. All it is is underdogs and favorites in this game. And even when, if I, when I become a favorite, which I know I will because I speak for the people, I'm going to still feel like an underdog. And cats like that, you can't turn off they, they hunger, you know what I'm saying, they passion. And that's the main thing. That's my secret weapon is passion. That's all hunger is, passion, because most people don't have it. So then they see me and think I'm a hothead and all this. So you get mad easily and you hot and you got, I just got passion. Everybody else is just saying the same stuff. So they rap about the same things or say the same things in their interviews. So when I say something different, they feel like I'm a hothead. I'm not. I'm just passionate. That's a secret weapon to anybody. Be passionate. You know all saying? right. So with all this passion going on, yeah, over here, you've been you've been in it for a while. You got signed last year. Yeah. So what's what's the craziest moment you've had since you got signed, or even before that? What's the craziest <laughs> moment as a professional artist? What's the craziest moment you've had? Craziest moment was meeting Marlon Wayans. Whoa. That was it. No, I'm just. I mean, it was dope. <laughs> but you know, check this out. I don't. I don't. Met Dr. Dre, I, I shot my video back at the crib, I met the Dungeon family, Organized Noise, who, them dudes is like idols to me. That mm -hmm. was even bigger than the Dre thing. But really, I don't get starstruck, you know what I'm saying, until I seen Marlon Wayans. I'm not trying to say this answer to be funny, it was just crazy because I love their whole family, like the Jacksons to music, they was to comedy, yeah, black comedy yeah, especially, right. so... It just, we came up watching The Living Color with me and my mom all the time when she used to be in the little apartments and we just be like watching that all the time and watch I'm Gonna Get You Sucker and the Wayans Brothers. And every time I say this answer, it's just being truthful. Like, it just tripped me out that I seen Marlon Wayans. And I ain't <laughs> never got starstruck. But even with him, I was like, damn, this is Marlon Wayans in front of me. And he was cool. 
So that's probably the wildest moment, and I I know it ain't. So what, what was that conversation? Was, was like? Man, I don't want to speak on it because oh. I think he was kind of under the influence at the time. Oh, okay. So, I mean, not, but it was cool. I just met him, but he was just he was smiling too much. So I was like, man, you either drunk or something. <laughs> like it was cool. I was just like, man, I love your your stuff. He asked me about the music, yada yada yada, and we chopped it up, and he was just a cool dude. But like I say, he was smiling a little bit too much. I wasn't saying nothing that funny, so <laughs> he was gone. He was in his own world. We, it's in yeah. making, so what's going on with my, that? My debut album, I could drop it right now oh. if I want. Everything's strategic. It's, it's going to come out top of the year, 2013. I call it the rebirth, you know what I'm okay. saying? Because Not the name of the album. I just feel like it's going to be the rebirth of the rap game. And why I say that is because everybody say, like, lyrics is coming back, all that, the restart. And not only that... It's 2012. This is supposed to be the last year of civilization, right? Everybody's supposed to be oh. dying. They used to talk about that for a big fad for years. Like, we're supposed <laughs> to be getting killed with the Mayans at the end of the year. Never believed it. So, yeah, once <laughs> once the clock strike midnight, January 1st, and everybody feel dumb again, I call it the rebirth of civilization. We're starting over. So, you know, it'll feel like a, a recharge, basically. The upcoming collaboration? I'm, I'm recording a new record with um, T.I.T.O. Okay. I got another one in the works with this dude named Mr. Lopez. <laughs> I got another one with this dude named Tito Lopez. Oh, okay. And another one with this one brand new dude named Quentin Tarantino. Oh, okay. That's his name. He cool. But he that's cool. yeah, that's all that's my all. collaborations right now. Cause I'm trying oh. to I'm trying to take it back, you know, in all seriousness to that Illmatic style when wasn't nobody on that album. Biggie didn't have nobody but Method Man on his album. Like right now, I'm trying to get my weight up, and I have so many words that I, I can't be giving them away right now. I got a lot of stuff to say, so that's another reason or another idea to throw back to being different, like we were saying, mm -hmm. in a subtle way. I don't really have no plans to collaborate with nobody right now, but if I did, it'd be something special, okay. some, some legends, you know what I'm saying? So, so we can look out for that? Yeah, absolutely. All those four I just mentioned, they they, they all they gonna come together and yeah. it's gonna be the rebirth. Absolutely. Okay, I'm with it. Absolutely. Okay, so right now, what's, <laughs> what's your top three? What you listen to today? Songs, top three. It top dead three. or alive? It could have came out yesterday. What? Man, you what's know, your I top switched three? Switched up so much. I'm not gonna lie. I was uh, I just had me against the world on last night just for no reason. <laughs> I was just playing it. Love me against the world. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna BS. You talking about hip hop? Cause I listen to all different. I'm talking about music. any, whatever. Me, me too. Every couple months, I gotta pull out the Nirvana Nevermind album. Oh. I love Kurt Cobain. That's my man. I gotta pull out Smell Like Teen Spirit, and then Biggie Don't Never Leave the Deck. Always some Biggie. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite artist. Yeah, Biggie. Absolutely. I, I will argue. I'm a die hard Biggie. Really? Man. That's my mama's favorite die rapper. Hard. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. If I get my mama on the phone right now, she go crazy over here rapping every Biggie lyric in the planet. They know it. So, yeah. <laughs> mama's a G. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. Yeah, okay. she'll rap that right now. I swear to God. Your mama. My mama. Rap. He know. My manager walk know, man. We was down there. She didn't want to do it because she was all shy. But if it was nobody around, it was me. I get on the speakerphone because ain't nobody around her. She on the phone. Tell her to rap a Biggie lyric. She going to rap Today's Agenda. I got the suitcase. I've been the central. She start rapping all oh. that shit. She's a oh. G. Yeah. I'm a G. It was hip hop coming up in my house. So, like, you young. By the <laughs> time I'm five, OJ's, she over 29. I go to my grandma's house for that. And you oh. hear Al Green and Marvin Gaye and the OJs. <laughs> but I got the best of both worlds. That's classic music. So I go spend with her. I hear the soul stuff. That's why I got an old soul. Come back to my mama's house and hear Biggie and Das Effects and the Chronic. All right. And bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. <laughs> all right. I, that's all I heard in the living room. <laughs> so I'm chilling. Okay, well, every single day, all I get is, is the artists that come. They they put, you know, something together on a Mac and they like, Man, it's about to blow up. This me yeah. right here. I did it yesterday. Come on, put me on. Yeah. And I'm I'm trying to say, no, you know, you, you gotta yeah. grind. So but you've been grinding for a minute. So maybe they hear oh, yeah. from you. You know what I'm saying? What do you have to speak to that? Persistency, uh persistence, consistency. To me, I always had a motto I used to say, and I used to tell it to my boys all the time back in Mississippi, was make a name for yourself. Don't make up a name for yourself. Like, dudes, that's my favorite little phrase I say. Because I'm out here like, you can say your stuff is a hit all day and yada, 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 and this is the dopest shit, but it takes the people to really be championing you to say it. So just be humble making your music, and then it continues to grow. Like, for me, when I look on Twitter and see people saying, I'm the greatest and I'm the best in this, that ain't me, that's them saying that. Meanwhile, there's point A, point B, and point C. And all these dudes shoot these videos, and I've seen them. You know how they used to do Access Granite? BT yeah, 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 yeah. and all that. Don't nobody want to see the behind the scenes of the video if they don't even want to see the video. Oh. Don't nobody even know who you are and you shooting the behind the scenes. Like we want to see all this extra shit. 
And I be watching niggas shoot their own little videos with the sunglasses on. Yeah, we run it. We run the state. We run Mississippi. We run this. We run L.A. We run anywhere. Who said that you run it? You have to just do what you do. The people decide what it is. So that's what I mean by don't make up a name for yourself and say I'm MC Killer Man and I'm doing this and I'm that. To make a name for yourself. Period. And that's, I really believe that because it annoys me. Because I'm like, just be on the humble dog and do what you're doing. You dig what I'm saying? Like It's like you saying you running your city. I have a line to say, you say you got the block on lock, but what does the block say? You can say that you got shit on lock all, the, all day, but what do they say? It's about the people. That's how I live my life. So, again, to them, to keep it short and simple, make a name for yourself. Don't make up a name for yourself. Cool. I like. We're gonna end on that note because that was just yeah. fire. I ain't even got no comebacks. Thank you for, for that. For that line. Any, I believe that. Any man. Fin final words? Final words: Stay true to who you are. Be one hundred. Be who you are, and everything you want in life will come to you.